Tonight, a killer still on the run following what witnesses say was a deadly case of road rage in North Austin yesterday. This is one of several road rage cases that we've reported on in the past month. So KXAN police reporter Jacqueline Powell asked if police are tracking them and seeing an uptick. You can see balloons now at this pole a man crashed into at Rutherford Lane and Cameron Road on Tuesday. And you can also still see scraps from his car. Police say he was injured before this crash ever happened. And now they're investigating what may have stemmed from that as a road rage incident. This is a second deadly road rage incident that we've covered now in less than two weeks. A little more than a week before this deadly attack, Benjamin Rivas's best friend and car club co-founder Cornelia Moore was shot and killed in traffic along I-35. There's nothing to risk or take someone's life over it just because, I mean, it's we're just getting from point A to point B. Cases of drivers getting angry and committing crimes is something the Austin Police Association says officers are seeing more of recently. But the group's president says it's hard to actually measure accurately because road rage isn't technically a crime. It's only investigated when a driver becomes violent. Usually leads to a criminal offense like aggravated assault where someone pulls out a gun and shoots somebody. APD says it does track road rage incidents, but couldn't tell me Wednesday whether they're on the rise. Tech stop measures road rage only when it results in a crash. So far, that agency's number of those cases in Austin this year is on track to be about the same as the last few years. APA worries the cases will increase with APD's suspension of its motors unit due to staffing issues. And they're the ones that did most of the traffic enforcement and you don't see them as out there as a deterrent. That's a problem and that leads to people doing things they shouldn't do. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Road rage reports increased enough in recent years. More departments started tracking it as a separate category. Just this year, Dallas police began to track aggravated assaults involving road rage. For the first half of this year, the department counted close to 400 cases. Nearby Arlington police started tracking road rage as a separate category last year as well. They've already found more cases this year. Arlington even started a hotline for you to call regarding aggressive drivers. And Houston police started a road rage task force temporarily with CARES Act funding after a close to 30% rise in cases last year. There are steps you can take to help keep tempers in check and from causing or escalating a situation on the road. AAA points out do not offend. That means don't cut anyone off. Don't drive slowly in the left lane. Don't tailgate and don't make obscene gestures. Don't engage even if someone else is angry. Steer clear. Adjust your attitude even though you might drive like you're racing at the Circuit of the Americas. Mm -hmm. There is no race and no winning. If things get out of hand, call 911. Do not get out of your car and do not head for your home. Go to a safe spot, preferably with a lot of people around that could deter an aggressor.